Hello, my name is Ian Curry, and today we're going to talk about the different types of cryptographic objects and why it's so important for organizations nowadays to get a full comprehensive inventory of all of the different types of cryptographic objects that they have across their digital landscape. The first type of cryptographic object is keys. The second type is certificates. Keys and certificates are used in algorithms to provide valuable capabilities like authentication, digital signature, and encryption really the, the cornerstones of, of what comes out of cryptography. There's libraries, which are software implementations, sometimes hardware implementations, but really software implementations of cryptographic algorithms and the use of keys and certificates. And then there's protocols as well that in a way sit on top of libraries um, and sit on top of algorithms, keys and certificates to provide a standards-based way for people to exchange cryptographic keys so they can set up secure connections or do other types of cryptography. So those are the types of objects that exist in cryptography. And why is it so important that organizations get a full inventory nowadays? Well, it's so important because cryptography is embedded literally in every single piece of software and hardware in the digital landscape, in any modern digital landscape. Cryptography is the substrate that binds uh, the value that organizations get from technology. It is literally used everywhere and far more frequently than, than people uh, realize. So these objects are very important to your organization's function. Um, and it's important to recognize that most organizations, pretty much every single organization, doesn't have a good view, doesn't have good visibility to these different types of cryptographic objects in their organization. So a cryptography inventory will go and dig out all of the protocols that are used in your, uh, in your organization. It will tell you all of the different types of cryptographic libraries that are in use in your organization. Not just that they're in use, but exactly where they are in use. It will tell you what the algorithms are. It will find keys and certificates. And those are all very important things for an organization to have visibility to. So for example, an organization that uses uh, InfoSec Global's AgileSec Analytics product we'll get a full inventory of all of these different objects. And they will see, for example, that a cryptographic protocol that they thought was okay is actually not okay. It's out of date. It's no longer accepted. They might find that there's instances, one or many instances of cryptographic libraries that are also out of date. They may find examples of algorithms that they're actively using now that they thought they were no longer using because those algorithms have been determined to no longer be good enough for protecting against modern computing, as an example. They may find keys and certificates also um, that are going to expire in the next short period of time, which might knock a critical business process offline. And they may also find, for example, that, that they have keys in their environment that are completely unprotected. And this is a good example of something that happened recently um, to the United States federal government. An event occurred in the summer of 2023 known as Storm 0558. And many people are familiar with this attack, but it effectively allowed an attacker to get broad access across many organizations, including the US federal government. And what that, what that attack did was the, the attacker found a cryptographic key that was just sitting clear in the wild. Turned out that that key was incredibly powerful. And what's important to recognize is that a project like Agile Sec Analytics is the only way to find that key. There's no other ways of finding that key um, that's sitting there in the wild, as I call it. And you have to have a product like Agile Sec Analytics, which is very, very sophisticated and has the capabilities to scan environments to look for keys, find algorithms find certificates that are going to expire, find libraries that are out of date, and find protocols that are no longer supposed to be being used and present that to the organization. So then they can make a plan and prioritize which things they want to go and fix first.